What is going on, everyone, and welcome back to the Pez Universe Pod. Are we still calling it the Pez U- Universe Podcast, Wes, or is it going yeah, to be the we're, eFootball we're still still Podcast? That. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> we, we, we will remain Pez Universe because then we can encompass everything. Well, yeah, man. Yeah, I like that. I like that, and I like that you're looking fresh. I mean, I'm looking a bit scruffy today, so you're looking fresh with the the new the new haircut, everything for the podcast. I, I appreciate that. Well, it it was it was it was more so. It's uh, it's 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 uh, Mama Wes's birthday. Oh, today, nice, so, uh, nice. So, Happy so I birthday. have to not look. I have to not look like Robin Williams out of Jumanji. So I have to just <laughs> yeah, wild man. Yeah, yeah so, man. But yeah. We're good. We're yeah, good. look, things things are things are good. Uh, we've been busy. We've been busy. We've been playing a lot of e football. We've been playing a lot of Dream Team. You've been smashing the streams. We've been doing, you know, smashing videos out, trying to help people along the way. Because there's a lot, there's a lot of depth to the mode. We touched on this the last podcast. There's a lot of depth to the mode that nothing is really explained in the game, you know. And I've made a couple of mistakes myself of buying a manager that maybe didn't fit in with certain players that I had or training up Romario. Like I trained up Romario fully and forgot to do his play style proficiency. So now he's locked at 75 or whatever it is. Not huge deals. He's still an absolute beast, but um, you know, there's a lot of depth in it. Like how are you finding, how are you finding the game a week in or two weeks in now uh, since we last spoke Wes? Um, oh, in terms of how I've been finding it, I, I'm, I'm enjoying the game for one. Um, I think there are, I, I, I've, got, I'm answer, I've asked oh, I've been asked it so many times on the stream now that it's almost become I might as well make it a sound command on, on my stream there. <laughs> but it, 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 it feels like it's a, it's a six to a six and a half at the moment in terms yeah. of if you take it as a, an overall experience that's where I feel it lives mm. like the, the gameplay is is is, is decent yeah. I wouldn't go to the point where I go it's absolutely amazing yeah, it's yeah, absolutely yeah. terrible but I think that there's certain kind of foibles in it that are not quite desirable. And I think there's a little bit of kind of ghosts in the machine from previous games that we're mm. still kind of living with. We're still living with the kickoff goal in 2022. Yeah. We're still living with, you know, kind of a collision system that's not quite there. We're still living with a ref problem that it just seems to either I can, you know, take a breath on somebody and it'll be a penalty or I can forearm absolutely smash them in destroy the face. them. Yeah, <laughs> I can absolutely. I can go Bill Goldberg and spear them, and and nothing gets given. It's like yeah, yeah play on. That was absolutely fine. That you know you've just you know you just lodged three of his ribs, but it's fine. <laughs> play on. You know I, I think that there are and, and certainly there's some things with the goalkeepers. The stuff with you know player cursor changes. Like we could be here all day mm. in terms of stuff that we're still living with four yeah. different levels of support. Uh, there's all these different things that I look at and just go, why? Why are we still in this scenario? Um, that's not for me to be ragging on the entirety of the game. I still feel that the changes to Dream Team have actually been quite good. Mm. I still feel that there's, there's things that they can further add to Dream Team that would be in, important. Obviously, the, the kind of the variation of, of events. I know at the time of recording, we've had you know Thursday's update. And yeah. yes, events have probably been slight... Well, the events are exactly the same as they were the previous week, but with different teams, yeah, and different different players. Teams, which, which, yes, all right. On the on the on you know on fresh on face value, you'd look at it, go, oh, well, the game's two weeks old, and it's like, yeah, but you would think that there would have been more forethought in mm. kind of we'll, we'll launch this with the hype, and then we'll we'll lean into how good this is, and then we'll start to, we'll 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 vary it the second week and yeah. the third week, yeah, the third week, and we'll keep people guessing on what stuff is rather than going down the route of it's a bit cookie cutter and it's the same but mm. you know overall i think we're in a in an okay spot at the moment i still think there's there's ways to go but that's that's the nature of this game now with it being live service with it being constantly improving and constant game modes i would say as a plus point for uh, a big plus point for konami is, is that they're getting ahead of their issues now yeah so there's been some some issues where they've put in like an emergency maintenance by the looks of things where the game's been shut down for like an hour and a half in the morning but it's cured some of the issues that they've, yeah. they've yeah. sort of the, the frame rate and stuff. So, you know, for all the times that I'm slam dunking on Konami, I still need to give them flowers from time to time when they do stuff that's actually quite reactive to some of their issues, which you'd say historically they haven't always been yeah. that reactive. Yeah, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. I think, I think the biggest thing from talking to people from my end is hearing a lot of feedback and getting it from, you know, an assortment of different people that play the game casually, play the game like, re, like from a content creation point of view, such as yourselves or Sep or any of the guys that are playing smashing the gameplay to guys that just you know really play 
as I said, casually, that it's like, you know, they log in maybe once a day, play a game or two, and that's it for the evening. Yeah. Um, I think it's just like for all, it has it, it has a lot of issues. Like you've mentioned and give a gave a great roundup of what I would say are the issues as well. And when you've when you've been involved with Pez for as long as we have, like we can see certain patterns and certain stuff that happens like you know a lot quicker than somebody that's maybe new to the series which is brilliant because you have that fresh eyes kind of like rose tinted glasses of like oh this is this is amazing and it's like oh but that was in last year and it eventually gets an eye when you can see the goal this way or whatever um you know we're able to spot things and anyone that's played pez will spot spot the issues but the overwhelming response i'm getting and the feedback i'm getting is like before with pez 2021 it was like yeah it's fun but you know, there's this, there's this, there's this, there's this, whatever. Now it's, yeah, there's this issue, this issue, this issue, this issue, but it's fun. Do you know that kind of way? It's kind of yeah, flipped yeah. that oh, the issues yeah. with, like, PES 2021, I've waxed lyrical about it. I played about, I'd say, 500 hours of co-op on PES 2021. It was the only mode I really played online, apart from, obviously, Master League Offline. Um, and I thought it was amazing. Like, And to think that eFootball will have co-op eventually, we would hope, the potential of it, what it could be. And, you know, they could yeah. have a lot of options with it if they, they, they progress the mode, which I think they will. And if they put half as much effort into co-op and having that experience with your friends in a lobby or in a team match lobby, as they have done to Dream Team and the way you acquire players and train them up and stuff, like that's what really excites me. And even though I loved PES 2021, I always had that thing. It was like, yeah, you can have fun if you kind of overlook this or that or whatever. And I love PES 2021. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not going back and revising my histories of it. I loved PES 2021 co-op. I still go back and play it. I went back and played it two nights ago, which was not recommended. Very hard. But uh, <laughs> yeah, like it was, I just think now it's kind of flipped at me where it's, I'm saying like, yeah, this is frustrating. That's frustrating. It's kind of like Warzone for me. Every night I go on, I'm like, oh, this game is so annoying, but yeah, I, like I can't wait to go on again tomorrow night and get a bit better or get a couple yeah. more wins. And that's yeah, what it's, it's like weird. with me for eFootball. And I know I've been watching a lot of your streams. You've been getting like frustrated with it, but it always comes back to you're having fun, whether it's with your chat, whether it's finding new players, whether it's training up a youngster that shouldn't be performing the way he's performing. Do you know what I mean? And are scoring yeah. a, an unreal goal or something like that. Um yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I've been hearing back is that like, yeah, it has a lot of issues and yeah, whatever, but it, but it's just fun. It's fun to actually play and pass and move and yeah, it has issues that they, like I think the collision system is the biggest issue. That's been the thing for me where I've, you know, sometimes it looks beautiful. Sometimes it looks like it's WWE gone wrong where the players yeah. are boxing into each other. And, um, but I, but I like I like a lot of what they've tried to do and I like a lot of what they've achieved. And I think that the the average player is taking it at face value now. And it's like, right, mm. no one could have thought that V0.9 was going to be as bad as it was. And now this is kind of like a lot done, but a hell of a lot more to do. But there's a base yeah. there now that people are happy maybe to maybe wait a little bit longer, even though they've waited two years to have that full experience. But Again, you know, people listening to this, it's not excuses. It's not, you know, taking what we're being dealt or just being happy with a mediocre product. I think it's just it's just a fun game. And to me, that's yeah, that kind of like overwrites a lot of the issues and over like writes a lot of the problems I have is that if I'm able to sit down and get what I want personally out of the game when I choose to play it and I'm not left in a frustrated heap of sweat from having to play a brand of football that I don't enjoy against guys that, you know, like are just punishing me for not playing that way. If I'm able to just sit down and play a video game and escape for an hour or two, like that's enough for me. Do you know what I mean? After a day's work or yeah, whatever, yeah. it mightn't be for some people, but yeah. for me, that's all I want out of a video game. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I don't know about you, man, because you and me are completely different ends of the scale in terms of <laughs> you've been yeah. smashing the streams and you've been doing everything kind of live and, I've been playing a lot of it as well, but in terms of you streaming and stuff, you've streamed a lot of the game and you're doing everything live where you're getting that frustrate, frustrating experience sometimes. But like, do you kind of, yeah. is that what your chat is saying? Is it kind of, are they having fun with it? Are they? I think, I think it, it, it does, it does vary. It varies. It varies. It, you, you have, 
you, uh, as I've said before, we have kind of you have different pots of players at the moment. Yeah. Uh, to to kind of go to your point about zero point nine, I think anybody who interacted with zero point nine who now plays V one, that uh, are completely miss out the zero point nine point one. I think anybody yeah. that's gone from V not V uh, zero point nine to one, mm. I think all of a sudden people have got uh, it, it's it's kind of it's 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 right in the ship that everyone thought had just capsized yeah they've gone yeah wait a minute actually this is quite fun to play like for a, no, a notable inclusion uh, or notable person i've seen on twitter who, who just tweets me in any phil coutinho goal um is galfana galfana just tweets me and goes where's one for villa fans and i'm like <laughs> yeah oh, do you know what that's actually un- like some of the through balls and some of the passes we're seeing absolutely unreal yeah and it's like to see that level of interaction both on social media from fans with each other going oh look at this sick goal look at what i've just done here mm. like that is class like yeah. i'm getting i'm getting asked to do team reviews on my stream which yeah. never happens yeah i'm getting asked to oh what you know i know i've jokingly referred to myself as the e-football help desk just because <laughs> it, just, it just seems to be a natural fit but i get loads of people coming and asking questions you get new people coming in from fifa who are you know, as you've said previously, that you know the the, the communication isn't quite clear in the game. So yeah. a lot of them are trying to figure out, yeah, well, how do I increase my team play style? How am I trying to get yeah. all these different? How do all these different mechanics work? And doing it all live is an experience in and of itself. But you do have these pots of people where it's like people who are just very annoyed and just are never going to enjoy it. Yeah, but that's fair enough too playing. because they deserve have, they deserve to be annoyed because they yeah. you know given a lot of reason you, you to have, be annoyed. You have the people who've then returned from V V point nine. Mm. I think I think what V one's done has kind of bought that pot, or at least has taken that pot of players who have come back from zero point nine, and has kind of bought, bought, accidentally bought themselves a bit of time because that pot of players are now starting to have fun with it. Yeah, because they're now going down that route of having fun, which mm. again is what we always say about video games: you have to have fun with them. Now all of a sudden they have a fun product in their hands. Which is an alternate to FIFA, which is an alternate to uh, previous PESs that have gone by. And now they're going, okay, well, this is something different. This is something we can take on. This is something we can do. Mm. Granted, there's a whole bunch of people in, uh, in my chat who absolutely love the game. There's yeah. a whole bunch of people in my chat that are very, Ooh, not really yeah. sure how I feel. Mixed about and, it. Yeah, I, I, get, I get the mixed reaction to it because, you know, at times where I'm playing and, the, the you know, kind of to use your phrase greatly, which is, when the game plays well, mm. in, and in the sense of not, oh, I'm better than somebody else, so yeah. therefore that's yeah. well. Exactly, when, yeah. it's, when it's moving freely, when the players are recognising where passes mm. are, where the defenders are recognised where stuff is, it's a very nice, fun football game to play. Yeah. It's when the it's when the niggles start to kick yeah. in, is yeah. when you start to get the frustrations where it's like a through ball isn't tracked by a defender, yeah. or your defence opens up madly, yeah. or doesn't respond. The, yeah, that's... When when people now talk of responsiveness, it's not necessarily the input from mm. your controller. Yeah, it's now the responsiveness of the AI that's now kind of I would feel is more so the issue. But yeah, yeah. As as for as for 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 the chat, it, it tends to be a mixture of everybody. But you know, I, I I tend to feed back a lot of what happens in there, or at least to what happens to me. You know, I switch to manual passing, you know, to kind of highlight a deficiency in the pass assist because yeah. regardless of where i wanted to pass the ball at times the ball was still going yeah you know, the game was still selecting becker when it should be selecting yeah Kata. like yeah. It, and and even on manual yeah it's doing definitely that, so assisted, like, like we've got we've got no we've got no hope if we're on <laughs> manual and we can't we can't like and, and for the manual players out there if you're on manual and you can't do manual passing to the players who you want to yeah. then it's kind of like well what are we doing what are we doing? Mm. just to, just literally just have a pass assist where it's pass assist on or pass assist off yeah it's it's that simple it, you know we don't need three different degrees of it and we just need just on or off mm. it's quite simple yeah no i agree with you i think it is man it's like i i said to you when we were talking the last day i haven't seen this level of I won't say hype because hype is kind of a is a weird word i think but i haven't seen this level of engagement in the pez slash e-football community for a long like for a long time like i think the last time i saw it was a very short-lived one of when they announced the iconic moment editions of the game and they announced that it was going to be you know a season update and they announced that it was going to be a budget title and you could buy multiple versions and there was a lot of hype about people that were like oh i can't wait to get this player you know 
rightly or wrongly, you know, we'll get into that in a little bit about, you know, coins and microtransactions because that has come into the game now. We will get into that in, in a couple of minutes. But like, I do think that the hype there at the moment or the kind of interest there at the moment is being backed up by exactly what you said, Wes, is like the game is fun when it plays well. Like I was playing a match last night with one of the MLS teams and I scored an absolute banger. And the two of us were just sat there watching, you know, the game, watching the replay. Watching the replay and I was like, damn, this is like, you know, this, you know, I messaged a man after, I was like, GG, and he was like, GG, you know, like you scored a great goal, and he, I was like, yeah, you're, rare, you know what I mean, it was really, it nice. was really rare, but I just think that like, the two of us went out to play, there was nothing to play for, apart from playing with MLS teams that, you know, it's not your dream team, there's no win-loss ratio, there's nothing on the line, you're just going out, you're not playing sweaty or spammy, um, now I know that that's a rarity online, because everyone wants to win, and I get that, yeah. But it was nice to have that moment there. And it's like what we say translates onto the pitch. When the game flows and you have those couple of niggles that you can overlook that don't distract or detract from the actual overall experience in the 90 minutes over a match, like that's when I think eFootball shines brightest. And I think that's what a lot of people that were so fed up with the series for so long are now seeing that it's like, oh man, there's a game in here somewhere. Do you know what I mean? And that cycle again yeah, of yeah. like, yeah, it just needs time. And I think the new format of, again, me being ever the optimist, I think the new format of it being a live service, ever evolving game, I think that that, that will improve. Do you know what I mean? Like the graphics will improve, the yeah. animations will improve, the player ID will be expanded upon. There'll be more stuff to do on the pitch, I think eventually with campaigns and stuff like that. Obviously, in one of our podcasts, we thought the match pass was going to come in the update last week, we were just kind of guessing and yeah. saying, yeah, it probably will come because they've already announced it and all this. Yeah. That has yet to come. So that adds a whole brand new experience to people that are like logging in to do stuff other than just going in to bash out. What effectively was in PES 21 was like match after match after match with no real team management, player management, anything. It was literally just like spin for players, play with the players. And that was the experience. Whereas now... Yeah. You know, as you've said, I was in Sep's stream the other day and he was about two hours in the menus, like, just going through players, reviewing yeah, players, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? It's that's, weird, that's like, for the, Pez. That's, that's the beauty of it now. It's now gone down that route of, I mean, we even said it before, we've even had it in the in the stream before, it was like, you'll have a person come to you and they'll go, oh, so, um, so what... Um, uh, what 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 defenders would you recommend? Yeah. And instead of the question me being now, oh, oh well, it depends on what scouts you can get. Yeah. Let's go and have a look at. Let's go and have a look at the database. Instead, it's now, what's your price range? What's yeah. your budget? What yeah. you, how, how much are you willing to spend on that player? <laughs> so now, are you willing so to trade your soul for ten? Yeah, are you are you willing to play the uh, com event a hundred thousand? Yeah. Times they need to work to on the event. They need like. Yeah. In fairness, the events were quite good in terms of the GP, but once you've them cleared. Yeah, that's, that's when the, that's the critical bit. That's the yeah. critical bit. Once you and put it once, like I wanna, I wanna ask you, right? Because I wanna this, this to me is kind of a, you know, like kind of slightly off topic, but on topic. But it's more me and you just having a chat. Now I'm gonna be selfish here and oh, ask yeah, yeah. you genuinely, me, me and you, right? Me and you having a chat. Yeah. just whilst everyone else is listening. Yeah, no, right. No, one else no they're is, they're yeah, not yeah, listening yeah, for yeah. a minute, right? <laughs> I'm wondering, right? Because me and you and like I've I've been speaking to a lot of people, so not to name drop but well not to name drop like he's a famous celebrity but shales has been kind of speaking to me a good bit about his experience with the mode and mm -hmm. we all know shales right obviously you know you know him was he's a yeah. massive offline mastery guy he started to come on and play a bit of this dream team and he's loving it right and mm -hmm. we got on to talking about a conversation the other day that he was kind of asking me to kind of you know gauge your impression of it of like when we're talking about events and ways to earn money and campaigns and stuff, like literally content, actual hard mm -hmm. content in the game, right? Yeah. Like, Shales was kind of saying to me that the content that they released last week, like, was still too much content for him. Do you know that kind of way? Because he didn't have time to clear the three, age, the, 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 the three offline events, right? Mm -hmm. He didn't have time mm -hmm. to play the J-League, the MLS, and the Spanish one. And he didn't have right. time to repeat the one that was rinse and repeat from the week before, which was against the the offline Manchester United event. You know that one? And then the, yeah, yeah, the user yeah. matches with your dream team. So like, yeah. I think he got halfway through maybe the events and he was like, you know, like, geez, I hope they don't add much more content because I won't be able to keep up, you know? <laughs> and then 
on the flip side, I was telling him, I was saying, well, we'll take Sep or take Wes, for instance, where Wes is going in and doing a three hour stream multiple yeah. times a day or multiple times a week. So Wes is playing maybe 12 hours a week of the game on stream, right? Where he wants to do content engaged community or whatever. Or Sep, I think Sep did a 10 hour stream there the other day. Like, ye guys have a completely different experience with that because yeah, you're, you could clear that. the agent or clear the, the event in two streams or maybe one stream and then you're like left with nothing to do so to speak apart from divisions or apart from playing you know match after match or repeating the events for literal zero gp for what it's what it's worth um yeah. but like for you like how do you feel about that when when it's kind of flipped that way that it's like because i know for you coming from fifa and nba 2k which has overwhelming amount of content that you just literally could not play in the month there you wouldn't be able to pass there wouldn't be enough hours in the month to do it all compared to this which is kind of it is weekly content like isn't it it's yeah, like you know it's no, for people I, maybe five or six hours that have to play it like what do you think yeah. of that kind of balance that there that is there I think the the, the, the level of content that they put out for week one mm. was actually fine. I think the the not issue, but I would imagine that the ask the ask is more a case of can we vary it? Can yeah. we yeah. we make it so that it isn't just oh win one point in three matches or or you know uh, let's make it so that you only play four you only have to play in four games. I think the ask now is more. Is it's more to do with the actual the the content itself. You want it to be of more variety. I want it to be a case where it's like I have a list of objectives, or I have a you know something that's player specific. You know, like if for example you pull a player and you go right, you need to score with under twenty fours. You know, or yeah. here's a or 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 this was a very big ask from a lot of people. I have a return of the 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 filter system for your your, your ratings of your teams. Because yeah. oh moment, yeah, that's a huge one. Yeah, you're, the you're getting you're getting people who are trying to just develop under twenty four teams or trying to just ha you know have fun with their variety teams that they have. Um, for example, I've got one viewer who is playing with like a full Nottingham Forest team. Okay, but he's like, oh, realistically though, that's not going to be able to compete though. He's like, oh, yeah. well, I don't know, I don't know the max levels of them. Yeah, I don't know what they yeah, go yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I would imagine that once you hit a certain ceiling, it then becomes a case that you either a have to play a certain way or b you have to have mega stars in pretty much mm. every position um so i think from from a content standpoint it's 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 okay but i think there's a variety that needs to be there so it needs to be not only just oh we'll win one game or you know have something where it's like a, oh here's a three star cup where you can only use three star rated and below players mm. or here's a four star cup, or here's a five, yeah. five star cup. but do Mike you think there's enough there. do you think there's enough hour like do you think that there's enough content from a pure pure like like if we're just yeah obviously like if you, you want variety but... about the actual events themselves yeah. yeah i think i think that i think last week was was plenty yeah because for each event you're gonna have to play hold on so you you play one game there let's just say you, you've got to win you know you've got to have three points in the second one so at max you're gonna play or sorry at the minimum you're playing four games four per games event, per event yeah right you've got you had the authentic mode which you had i think it was one two three so you what you have three yeah, so, that so that's was, 12, what, 12 games. games. That's 12 games. And then on top of that, you've then got the ones that are in the Dream Team mode. Mm -hmm. That's another four. So that's 16. You've then on top of that, you have the eFootball League games. I'd say that there is enough to kind yeah. of be getting on. Yeah. I think the, the, the key there now is going to be the variety, variety of, of it. Yeah. Let's, let's have some different types of objectives or let's have some different type of cups. Mm. Like I said, three-star cup or an under-24 cup. Yeah, that would be unreal uh, now. Bit, like a like a veterans cup, yeah. so you had to basically play. You had to put, you know, the more old players you put in there, mm. you know, allow me to play with Olivier Giroud and Ibrahimovic up front. Allow me to just, you know, allow me, allow yeah. me to have that. Freedom. Yeah, because I think you like, were saying, or, like, I, I, I think you were the one saying it to me that like, you wouldn't even need to have the option to have multiple squads. You could literally just, you know, say pick seven players or ten or yeah, pick eleven players from your squad that fit this criteria to go yeah. into this like actual mode and then once they're in there like that's it like there's no injuries or anything like that there's no maybe suspensions that you just have your 11 players and that's it mm -hmm. or maybe like five subs or whatever of players yeah. that are you know over the age of 30 or under the age of 24 like mm -hmm. i think that stuff could be like th that would be that would be huge be man great. yeah that'd be, be huge 
it'd be great because then for example then you know we, we've spoken a lot about gp and 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 the the kind of usefulness of it once you've got your, once you've kind of got your team set up and once you've got your tactics in place and stuff you're then basically just kind of saving gp yeah. whereas actually if i had to go out in a week and go right actually i need to go and buy i i don't know uh let's just take the scottish premier league for yeah. example so I've got, to, I've got to put together an 18 of a scottish premier league team but i need the gp to do it and i also need to know who i've got to get on particular levels it then adds a different wrinkle to it yeah so imagine yes, the different right. teams that you'd have though man as well yeah. like you have so many different yeah, exactly. teams like you could layers. go you could go so many different ways with it you know i mean we we harbor on the if we remember or if for those of a of a, of a particular vintage remember the the international cups they had for mm. i think it was was it around I want to say it was 2018 for the it was PES 2018. I think it was, it was 18. The end, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. Towards the, the end, end of my club, yeah. and you could basically you could just go right. Here's your Argentina team. Here's your Brazil team. Mm. Here's your Spain team, and you would then get agents and stuff out the back end of it yeah. as a result. Of it was it. class. And like I say, it's not necessarily the content. It's it's not necessarily the content itself. I think that there is a decent level of it now because you can you have four events or five events in a week, and yes, if you complete them oh, if you say for example you're me or sep or whoever who streams it daily or you know goes on it yes you might complete those very quickly mm. and you might just be like oh, okay well that's done but you have then exhausted the content you've then gone right actually i've i've, I've played all of the content that he's got to offer me whereas for example this week i stream i only tend to play when i'm streaming or stream when i play mm. the amount of events i've done i was i finished off the events or i took my time with the events and cleared them in the week like yeah. i cleared enough of them before the next batch came through yeah so i think the level of content is there i think now obviously we move on to kind of the the, the kind of the player situation the special player situation yeah where the nominating contracts thing mm. i have to commend them for again yeah. very good option to have um, i'm a little bit disappointed that there's nothing here today yeah uh, but but we, we are where we are that there might be more comes next week or whatever the case may be um but we're still on this coin only hype of of boxes and i'm like i i understand that they brought the market in which is great and I, I i applaud them for the gp market i just would like there to be a facility where you know say for example i'm sat here at the moment with 125k gp yeah if, if the if the if the special player list was you could either use 100 coins or actually you can take a punt and you could put 50k gp into it mm. so you've got the option then of what do i use do i yeah. use the time that i've earned through the game or yeah do i use the currency that i've earned through the game through time that i've invested or do i have that ability to just put money in and and i'm not against I, i'm not necessarily against people who put money in it because it's their choice it's their thing like we're gonna yeah, go of from, course we're gonna we're gonna go from policing policing people's games that they play to policing the game styles and how they play to policing <laughs> how they spend the money. Like yeah. if we get any more policing going on, I, I, we're just gonna be on lockdown and no one's gonna play the game because we, we, everyone will just everyone will just yeah, sat there. It's going, just oh, social we'll media, man. Everyone has an opinion on everything. That's yeah. you know, and that's but, that but, just comes in part and parcel of it. Like I, if they, but if but if they flip that switch, if yeah. they just made that one tiny yeah. switch to it, it ignores all of the. It would ignore. And also with that tweak, if they tweak that and then tweak the reward system, all of a sudden then it becomes a re it comes becomes a very replayable game yeah. because then you can grind the GP to then open up the box yeah. or open up the the list and see what you get. And yes, all right, you might end up with uh, I don't like to use him as a disparaging thing because Baxter listens to this, but you might end up with Harry Wilson who might be absolutely useless. I'm not saying he's losers, but that's by the by. Yeah, but although on the flip side, though, you might end up with Sammy Letter. Yeah. So you might end up. So you you take that risk. Yeah, yeah. At least have the option to take that risk. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's an option of the risk of the game of the yeah. the, the currency that you're earning from in the game. Yeah, but look, at the end of the day, man, like there's that that debate. I think between that's why it was very curious to ask you your opinion because like the debate between creating video games nowadays for content creators and that youtuber market or the twitch market like not just for eFootball or pez but like you look at warzone and you look like warzone has gone from like i'm a massive fan of warzone right they could literally do anything like in the game and i wouldn't bat an eyelid but it's like when you look at it in the the cold light of day or the hard light of day it's like they went call of duty went from a series of you know ultra realistic you know like prided themselves on you know gun balance and quick movements and reactions to now having snoop dogg in as a playable character 
They're adding an event Godzilla. next week. <laughs> Godzilla and King Kong are coming in an event next week. And it's like, it's just batshit crazy, but you have to, you just go along with it. And I just think that like the reason for that, right, is because when you've got guys streaming the games, like the likes of Dr. Disrespect and like the guys like, you know, them big guys that have huge, huge audiences, like gaming has changed a lot that it's no longer just about like what you get in the box on day one. And then it's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. in the sequel, we might have this. Now it's like, oh, well, in three months time, we might have this. Like I played Halo when it came out. I loved Halo. Thought it was brilliant. Loved it, right? Everything about it was brilliant. Way better than Warzone, I thought, and how it handled the gun control, the skill gap, everything. But there was nothing to do after I passed the main mission because they didn't have a Battle Royale mode in it. Yeah. Do you know, and I'm sick of like normal multi multiplayer because I've played that since I was 10 years of age, like running around gunning and shooting and dying every five seconds. So like... And that's, you know, going to add a, probably a Battle Royale mode now to get with the times. Like Halo 10 years ago would have never thought of adding Battle Royale mode because it didn't exist. And that's kind of cropped up from like influencers and content creators yeah. that want better content that they're able to produce better uh, content yeah. themselves with. And I think that's the thing with eFootball now at the moment is that like that whole, you know, content creator slash streamer versus casual player of somebody that comes in and has three kids and literally gets two hours a week to play with his team versus somebody like yourself or Sep who is on the game streaming and playing the game a lot and knows every in and out of the game and all the tricks and tips and all that yeah it's very hard balance to find because you don't want to overwhelm that casual person that will come in and drop you know a tenor into microtransactions compared to like you who literally is like give me more 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 all the time and that's you know that's just what we're like like yeah. i want new events all the time but like bringing it all back around to that right long way of asking the next kind of question how do you like think about the balance of you know spending coins versus grinding as it is right now because like look they added the coins last week so we had a week of non micro transaction bliss where everybody some had just eyes it'd be, yeah some people's eyes it'd be we had a week of bliss yeah everybody was level yeah and, and some people were like oh like the amount of people that asked me was like when are we can when can we buy coins when can we buy coins and it's like yeah there is a huge market out there for it they're making millions on the coins and stuff yeah like there's nothing you can really do and nothing that i would ever want to do because everyone you know earns their own money everyone has their same we've had this fucking analogy yeah. sorry for the person <laughs> yeah. but we've had this analogy like it's the same reason as you going off buying a tv for two thousand or buying a tv for ten thousand yeah. like it's your money yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone has different comes from a different walk of life everyone has different jobs and everyone has different successes if you want to spend a thousand quid in e-football or you want to spend zero i don't, like it's the same respect that i would give to anybody but how do you think you balance that between, you know, because there will be people that will go off and spend money on coins to get their favorite player, to get Samuel yeah. Eto'o, you know, and have Eto'o and Romario up front or Eto'o and yeah, Robbie yeah. Keane up front. Like, how do you kind of feel that, like, that that balance needs to be, like, how do you feel that they need to handle that balance, I think? Because you're, you are going to get people that spend money, like an, a good bit yeah. of money to get a good team, like. I think I think the way to address the balance because I, I I I know I picked up because uh, I listened to the previous podcast which I was on with Spoonie and, and Cam and uh, you know I I kind of we missed you shuddered. we missed you a lot man I, I, I kind of shuddered when I heard I think it was Spoonie who went oh well, you know um or am I paraphrasing here but he's talking about that with it or the veteran bonus has made it unbalanced it's like yeah no, these these are the people who stuck and played with the game yeah for 2021 these yeah are the people who, we earned that <laughs> who who literally <laughs> stuck with it with v uh 0 0.9 yeah these are the people if anything that is compensation for the time that they've spent with definitely it. but but i do take the point though that the kind of the unbalancedness between what new players can get and yeah what the yeah. older player or the older players can get there is a disparity there so from from my standpoint that and, and it goes back to that point if you sorted out the rewards and made the rewards replayable and made the uh, or made the rewards for replaying stuff more yeah if you return to the days of getting gp per match rather than relying on just xp yeah because for, for of what i don't understand for whatever reason that's gone mm. um if you address that balance and you made the boxes openable via coin uh, by a, a gp gp that's both 
both the magic moment stars or whatever the or the great finishers or whatever the yeah. next thing's gonna be. Oh, and even the the special player list at the moment, you make that all obtainable by GP, and that makes it appetizing for the people who want to do Road to Glories and or you know. But the the coin system the coin system won't be gone for those who want to spend the coins. Yeah, yeah, so, I know what you mean. So 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 the avenue is there, and and also I would point out, and I'd like to point out that just spending money on a on the team does not make you a good player mm. that, that, that that argument it doesn't it doesn't i think even more so this year man like i've seen i've seen i've come up against teams and i'm like as i said i'm a very average player you know what i mean i'm very average at the game and i've held my own against yeah. a couple of god squads do you know where i've i've picked a win off or i've completely decimated him because it was literally him just spamming the ball forward and i just completely yeah. destroyed him I- yeah, it's like I came up against Beckenbauer and Poyol the other evening. Mm. And Christian Benteke scored two headed goals. It's like, <laughs> that you, you, in no in no realm should that happen. Yeah, like, but you shouldn't be allowed to use Benteke. Like it's unfair. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? Cause, yeah, because he's cause he's just he's just he's, he's Belgian as <laughs> Cena Traore. That's what he is. Um, but the 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 point still stands. You just because you have a good team or just because you spend money on the game does not infinitely make you a better player of eFootball. It doesn't make yeah. you better than the next person. What makes you better than the next person is your ability to play the game. Yeah, That's yeah. What makes but you when you match player. up have a good player with good players is very yeah, hard to and beat, the, you know? Yeah, and the, and the difference, and I will take the point on the likes of Romario. Romario is a game changer regardless yeah. of, of, of what skill level because you can literally, if you have enough pace on him, you can turn him into a speed demon. And yeah, he'll just uh, he's he saw a he man. He's so, actually broken. Like so, so, I suppose it then becomes a case of how do you, it, the real question here is how do you make the special players more obtainable to Joe Blogs? To yeah. Joe Blogs who doesn't spend anything, wants to do a road to glory, and all this other thing. How do you make that accessible? Mm. That that's yeah. the key here because if 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 for whatever reason I'm not saying it will but you know you have different countries for example I think it's Belgium and is it Belgium and the Netherlands who or is it just Belgium who don't have loot boxes Belgium is far, definitely Belgium anyway Belgium, I'm not sure about Belgium, Belgium. but for example if there was like a worldwide thing tomorrow where it became nobody could nobody could uh, buy coins anymore mm. nobody will get a special player ever again because you don't have that system in place yeah you wouldn't need uh, special it, players and then. it's not. And it's not like Konami have not got the feedback. They see it across social media. They hear it in podcasts like this. They see it in Twitch streams. They will see it in YouTube videos. They'll see it across the board. They they see this feedback and they see feedback from everybody. I'm yeah. not saying my feedback is it is worth any more than anybody else's. No, of course I know. It should all be going in a big ball to yeah. and right yeah. the ball. Yeah. Figure out how you kick it yeah. and figure out how you make it work. Because like I said. They've made some really good strides. They just mm. need to keep making them yeah, strides. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I think they will, you know, man. Yeah. I think it's a good, it's a good launch, and I think they've got back a lot of, like a lot of the stuff that is there is in its infancy. Like you can see, the you can see the breadcrumbs of a lot of stuff. Like for instance, we were discussing whether players are gonna go up in their value. Do you know what I mean? Like at the moment, you can yeah. go in and you can buy Timber, who's literally like one of the best centre backs in the game once you train him up after maybe ten levels. Like he's a beast, plays way mm-hmm. above his stats. He's eighteen thousand GP. So it's like, you know, in 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 two months time or three months time, is Timber going to be when I go on going to be fifty thousand GP like the old MLO days? Yeah, and that adds a whole idea. kind of like, you know, buy low, sell high kind of transfer market in a game within the game which would be yeah. cool as yeah, well that was that was going to be that was going to be my next point is is yeah man i had to take your thunder you, come on yeah when you when you really when you release a player and you get like four cat you know mm. i can release my max level Giroud, mm. and it's like you get four four thousand nine hundred gp yeah it's not even worth releasing you know it's no. not it's not worth it and, yeah. uh, oh you get one training program okay great but like uh, you know if if we had a a, a, a flexible uh kind of market where it's yeah like, as in the good old mlo days where yeah was, man i used to love that if a player if a player was popular for example the the prime one which i know people are going to shout at me for prime one is darwin nunez mm. i see him in literally every yeah, single team so on good. planet earth right and i know i'm stealing magic man's comment with that but it's, it's true he's even in my team yeah right yeah. but you see him in literally everywhere and he's bargain basement price yeah you know? if they if they put in a fluctuating market where it's based on how many users have darwin nunez He'd be up there with Ronaldo and yeah, you know, it's like Van der Merchman you know I mean? back in the day and Mefea, yeah. they and Barreto, they were the guys like that they started. Yeah. They started so, at like fifteen thousand GP or whatever it was, and then they were like five hundred thousand by a couple of months yeah. time. And and the only other thing is about the development because I saw we had a 
a tweet just before we came on, um, or just before we started recording, you mm. know, about the development of players. Now, granted, they lock you in pretty much. They go, "Yep, yeah, you can't you you can't utilize it anymore. Once you've got yeah. your XP, yeah. you should put it in." That's it. What I wouldn't mind seeing is an ability to kind of redistribute that. So, for example, if I went in and got some XP, I could go right. Okay, well, I'll add two there, but I'll take off four off my son in terms of his dexterity. Yeah, I'll add it to his drip instead. Yeah, you know, but being able to redistribute them would be quite nice, or yeah. at least having an item. Having an item. In yeah, they could bring in an item. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah. I was just about to say, bring in a, could. bring in an item. Bring in an Elden item Ring style. That, that, yeah, bring in an item that's like a, a reset button. So yeah. it doesn't take the XP away. It basically just puts him back to level one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still have all the XP you've accrued. Yeah. That way then you can go, right, okay, I can I can tweak this. I can yeah. sort this out. Because we've got, you know, there's a lot of people who are going to have still had that issue of, I didn't train up his tacticals, much like yeah, you mentioned Yeah, I earlier. did that, yeah. My, my Giroux and my Nunes have, have been max level, but I don't, but you know, I, I never trained them in tactics, so yeah. they're at like 61 and 78. So yeah. it's like, but even if you got a new manager, man, like if you if you decided at the start, right, I, I only have 50,000 GP to spend on a manager, so you buy Arteta, and then after two months of playing, you've got the same squad, but you're like, damn, I, I have enough here for Pep, or I have enough here for Klopp, you're kind of stuck with whatever you've trained up to that to that manager, you know what I mean? So if you've trained all your players and used all their training progression, and their level system, and they're maxed out, and you can't do anything about it with possession. And then you change to a manager that's quick counter. Like, you know, you can't really do it. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that needs to be, I think, rethought of as well. Um, which I think that they will. I think that they'll make it a way that you can actually train maybe play styles a little bit different. But then by yeah. then, they'll probably be, you know, there'll probably be a lot of featured players on the market that will have play styles that, you know, are yeah. 99 or whatever. Um, yeah, I feel like that. I feel like, they, I feel like they've got there's there's only a couple four more little kind of niggly bits that I've got with with those players. I think they've got it the wrong way round in mm -hmm. terms of the players and the magic moment styles or, or the whatever we're bracketing those players. As. Yeah, I think they're trending now. Trending, yeah. I think, I think they've got it the wrong way round in the sense of you can't upgrade players of them, but you can upgrade those players. Mm. It should be the other way because yeah. you've got. Lower overalls. You've got some. Of the, some of the players have got terrible tactical uh, play yeah. styles. Are you talking about but denominating have... agent players that you can't yeah, train yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like they've got it the wrong way around. I feel like it should have been a case that you know, if you get Pato or Vela or Chicharito or that uh, right back that oh. apparently has pace, yeah. right? Bubba body. Rotty. Yeah. 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 yeah or, so you should have been able to then develop those guys rather than being able to develop your Bruno Fernandes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. I feel like they've just got that the wrong way. Mm. I mean, if they, if they reverse that and made that that way, you'd get a lot more variance in the teams as well because people would be more inclined to use Pato and mm. Vela and mm. Chicharito or Zella Ryan. They'd be more likely to use those players if they had the ability to train them up because, mm. again, add a different wrinkle then. You can start putting together an MLS team. You can mm -hmm. start putting together all these different types of teams and it becomes more viable for everybody. So mm. though they've got content in, which is great, it's now a case of just, just refine what you've got and make it a bit more user-friendly. Yeah. Once you make that bit more user-friendly, you'll get more stuff coming out of the fire that or people will go, bloody hell, they've, they've changed They've changed the made that accessible via GP. Oh, mm. this is sick. Yeah. Because then you've got people who will grind the GP to go and have a go at, at mm. a legend box. Yeah. I remember doing it way back when they used yeah. to have the... Yeah, I remember, box. yeah. 17. I used, to grind, I used to just grind to the point where I'd get 25k GP. Like, literally, I'd be like, have 10 GP left after I'd spent on the box. Mm. Just so I'd have an opportunity to get in a, a, a legend. And, like I said, tap into the good feeling you have with this game already. Tap into it. And you've got the ideas, you've got feedback. Re I know it's not within Konami's being, but reach out to people who yeah. are giving ideas and stuff. Yeah, no, because I think I they are, man. I think there's a lot of community okay. feedback going back that's like what you're saying, definitely. I do agree with that, you know, because they, yeah. they like, I think, I think the biggest thing about it is that, like, they know now that if they want to be successful as a free-to-play game, they, like, they have to earn money, like. Yeah, you know, it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not about, it's not good enough now to just, like, yeah, we're comfortable with our product. We're getting our three or four million sales a year. Everything else is a bonus. You know, obviously it looks better at the end of the year, but like yeah. we've got our money back. You know, we're in the profit. We can still keep developing the game. Now I think it's gone to, 
like they're going to live and die by what people are playing like regularly playing and like we've yeah. seen on twitch like i went on to twitch last night and there was like you know there was um there was guys playing you know that traditionally wouldn't be streaming pez and it seems to be that even when they had streamed it before it was always kind of a like you know it was always out of kind of a like it's, it's not yeah, FIFA. It's whereas now they're like acceptant of damn this actually is a really good idea or this is cool or yeah this gameplay feels nice or whatever they're kind of treating it as an actual game rather than a fifa competitor yeah. if you get me so i yeah, do think yeah. i do think like everything that you're saying there is kind of like i think i can't find any you know argument with it because you're bang on about pretty much everything how they balance the game i just think that it's like it might be a big head please don't <sighs> It can't go any bigger, man. It can't go any bigger, you know? We're trying to deflate it a, a little bit. I've had a haircut to disrupt, to disguise the large headline. It's the brains. Know? It's the brains. They're expanding. But no, it's... it's. Um, I think you're right, man. I just think that it's always a case of, as you say, it's finding that balance of, you know, playability versus spending money to, to have a team. Yeah. And I think that that's the only way to balance that is on the pitch. But at the same time, they could look at it in a way and think, right, you know, maybe people have made a mistake by getting a legend. Or even even just say, like, look, you know, to thank you guys for your support, here's a list of 20 agents, you know, you get to, or 20 legends, you get to pick one. Do you know what I mean? For newcomers as well. Like, say, for newcomers into the series, they're around yeah, Christmas or time. Like or, a welcome, as like a wel- yeah, as like a welcome in gift yeah. or something to get them through the door or have yeah. them as like a captain or something yeah but there's there's ways to market that yeah and, and i know that there's kind of various degrees of red tape that stuff would have to go through but there's ways to make this stuff work yeah uh, it's just it's a case of i suppose from a from a community standpoint and from a fan standpoint and from a player standpoint is one thing you also need to make it benefit the business side of things and i know people don't like to talk about the business side of things yeah, because it's but that's like, the way it is that's, that's not that's not what i care about i want to care about going on to my ps4 or my yeah. ps5 yeah my xbox or my place or my pc or, or my mobile whenever that comes yeah but i want to be able to just go on and play i've i've not got a i've not got an issue you know that's that's what people are more bothered about they're not bothered about oh well actually this is going to impact our shareholders and all the, all of the kind of the boring business side it, it, you then need to find we we've got all of the community and the fan side of things. Mm. We now need to maybe get Konami to then look at it and go, well, how do we make it so that that fits the model that they're going for? Yeah. If they can find a way to make it fit the model, we're in business, guys, and we'll be able to get all these ideas in, yeah. and everything will then work yeah. perfectly. But you know, I think like in said, time they that have, will come. They have, I think. Yeah, it, it's going to take time. It's going to take time for them to adjust to the wants and needs of a live service from a bigger audience and from a bigger player base now mm. i think now is going to be the time where they now go okay we've got we we've got them by the the short and curlies yeah let's let's press this home let's press home the advantage of we've got good feeling within our game because it's mm. been a while since it's been a case yeah but imagine like i always think this as well for people listening and are kind of thinking yeah but it's you know it's still not good enough or it's still not my pez you know my pez was always about this or master league or this like i i truly believe right and i made this point to a few people I truly believe that if you if you take off the Pez Brandon and the eFootball Brandon off this and you remove every mention of Konami and you just release this game as an alternative different like 2K or UFL or goals or whatever whatever you want and it's not a Pez or Konami game, right? And this mode dropped as a free-to-play title first in a series, first in the franchise, right? From 2K or Ubisoft or whoever was making a football game and you drop it with this mode, Dream Team, with this infrastructure and this gameplay that although it's not perfect, it's still fun. It's still very playable and it's much better than what it released in V0.9. Like I think that, I think that like the plaudits would be even a lot more because it'd be like, Oh my God, for a first time, this is their first ever game. And it's like, yeah. you know, I know that the Pez, to, yeah. Yeah. I know that the Pez studios like have been, you know, have had years of experience and that's why they've, you know, like perfected how they do, t- do things and they need to, change up some other things to come up with the times like in that Mm. but i do think that like that kind of association with the pez and witty v0.9 and with all the memes and everything 
I am even surprised somebody that's literally the most optimistic person ever. And I get shit every podcast and every time <laughs> literally optimists called me an optimist. You're that kind of way. They're like, yeah. oh, you let us down. You're just so you know yeah. happy all the time with, with, so with we, stuff. Don't, we don't identify Barry. Yeah. As yeah. But like, he's, he's just too, he's over the other side, but like too optimistic. I am even surprised that the reaction was what it was and that you have got people coming back that, swore off ever giving it another go no matter what they changed to now coming back and playing it and i welcome those people back in their voice is is as important as mine or yours but i didn't i just genuinely man i did not think that it would turn around this quick yeah Yeah. i'm not saying it's back to i'm not saying it's back and that all everything's forgotten about i'm just saying i did not think that everyone would have gone from complete disinterest to literally like every time you go on twitter now it just seems to be like a fun kind of community again. Do you know that kind of way? Like people are helping each other out. People are sharing yeah. tips. Like I'm putting up videos there on YouTube and there's like 50 comments of like, oh, you need to try this guy. What do you think of this guy? How do I improve? Yeah. And it's like, if that was before, it was like every comment was like, Pez is shit. Why are you playing Pez? You know, <laughs> like it just seems to be that there's an acceptance now of like eFootball is what it is. Those yeah. that aren't accepting it, are happy to just let it go and remember that Pez had brilliant memories. And I was speaking to you last week and I gave you this analogy and I, I feel like I need to say it, right? I was talking about <laughs> Manchester United and its current state, right? This is how I yeah. have kind of seen eFootball and why I stay optimistic, right? When I was growing up, Manchester United like were like everything to me. Like they were my passion. Like I played football myself. I watched as many games, every game, literally every yeah. game of theirs for about five years. I watched growing up. Right. I saw the treble in 99. I saw the treble in 2008. I saw Ronaldo, yeah. Cole in Yorkie, Irwin, Keane. Like I saw, every, I had just such a brilliant childhood growing up in teenage years, supporting them and all my mates, you know, not having as much success with Liverpool and Chelsea or whatever. Right. United are completely nowhere they're, they're a shadow of them former selves, like, right? I'm not going to pretend that I watch all their matches now. I watch the odd one here and there, but, like, I, I just don't have the same passion I did for football or watching them at the moment because they're not winning and they're not playing a brand of football that I appreciate, right? Whatever. I'm still yeah. a supporter, right? I'd still go to the odd game if I could or watch a few games. Mm-hmm. But just because United are where they are at the moment now does not not take away anything from when I was growing up and having those memories... And that's kind of how I see Pez as well. Is that like, I'll always have Pez four, five, and six. Like, do you know what I mean? Nothing yeah, can ever yeah, change yeah, never that. Go. And it's yeah. like, it's okay sometimes to just be able to transition from that was then, this is now. It doesn't need to be just tired with the one brush that everything is gone from 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 before. You know what I mean? Just had a thought. I've just had a thought. Oh, this is Bobby dangerous. Clo- this is Bobby dangerous. Closing thought. Obviously, you've got. PlayStation, is it what? What's it going to be called? You got PlayStation Plus, and it's going to, you're just going to merge. With yeah, yeah, yeah. The PlayStation Now, yeah, thing. Just a thought. Bring back the old Pezzes. Oh man! Just, just, Imagine that. Pez oh, five or Pez that, six. That, MP, yeah, that, backwards compatibility. That, that would be class. Yeah, That'd that be would so be so good. Yeah. And, and that would, and honestly, you you would probably get a lot of people go. All's forgiven. I can yeah. play. I can play. <laughs> I can play on native PS5. Yeah. I can play it on as my uh, all's forgiven. Like, okay. that, that would literally, honestly, imagine. Yeah, with upgraded imagine renders, things. man, they could do it. Like it'd be class, wouldn't it? Then, Especially it, now on Game just, Pass as well, as you say, or the PSN oh, Plus thing. Oh man, yeah. Well, that's that's the thing because they're going down the whole. Oh, we've got all PS1, PS2 games. I'm like, go on then, go yeah. on, give it. Yeah, it'd be class, give me, give me. Give me, give me Terry and I'll ask. Uh, give me Terry and Henri on the front of uh, a yeah. front cover. Go on, go on, do it, do it. Go Adriano, P six. But now five. I've set, now I've set the table now, and if they go and magically do it, then I'm going to have spoiled the surprise. Or oh, more man. importantly, I've probably, I've probably set an expectation that they're never going to meet, and everyone's going to go, "Where's you've promised us this?" Uh, yeah, it's just going to be, it's going to be painful. But yeah. yeah, I, yeah, that would, that would be, that would be something. That'd yeah, be it would something be class. Oh, because people way, can still go back and play those games, man. You know what I mean? That's the thing, and it's like. I just think now eFootball is a brand new thing and that's that's kind of, we're into a brand new, you know, we have a new future now with it of where it's going to be in the next few months. So yeah, man, let's end it there because yeah. I know you, I know you have to, you have to go. Um, and we've been talking for about an hour. So yeah, I really enjoyed that yeah. chat, man. I hope the chat did as well. And anyone listening in the comment, my phone is ringing now as well. Um, 
we must be in trouble. But yeah, let me see what we can do about getting an episode up next week as well. Um, we have a couple of guests that are looking to come on, but we'll 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 see. We'll have to vet them, you know. We'll have to vet them. Um, velvet velvet rope. That's yeah, what we need. We need yeah. Velvet rope. No, I'm kidding. We 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 just need guests, everyone. <laughs> <That's not, that's laughs> but yeah, man. I we'll we'll end it there. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get this up tonight, and uh, you can enjoy listening to this tonight and tomorrow over the weekend, lads, or whatever. Bank holiday weekend, so. That should be good. But uh, yeah, that's it from me, Wes. I will talk to you again soon. And that's it for another episode of the podcast, baby. (laughs) Bye. Good luck.